हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन लर्न हाउ वेब वर्क सो हाउ वेबसाइट आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग इन द बैक एंड सो ऑल दैट वी आर गोन सी इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून्ड एंड लेट स्टार्ट सो बिफोर लाइक बिफोर टर्निंग अप इन टू द वीडियो let us just understand what are the basics of web pages and what is the basics of web websites so any websites that you can see on your browser consist of html css and javascript primarily so what is this html css and javascript so for those of for those candidates who don't know about the basics of this so you can just understand html as a skeleton like a man without any flesh on his body so html is just like that so as you can compare it in web pages with the html tags that we have so html is just uh, we use to simply give the layout to our web pages okay so html is just like a skeleton and what is csn css doing so css means cascading style sheet so css is adding flesh to the human body let uh, let's let's say to compare okay and what and what css is doing to the web pages so it is just adding the styling how how our website should look like so it is just determined by the css okay but but right now we have html and css so we have a good looking boy but but what what is the use of boy with no brain so that's why we have javascript here so javascript plays a very vital role javascript makes our website interactive and responsive as well so let's say we want to perform some of the task using some buttons so in that case javascript javascript comes into picture so javascript is like the brain of any any website okay so this is the very basic of html css and javascript that anybody should know so so now let's move on to our main topic that is how websites actually work so before knowing that let us just know more about this four uh, like four terminologies so these are http tcp ip server client and dns so basically http is what http you you might have see, seen on the websites like whenever you are typing in address bar so it is just hitting something and on the very first like very first side you can see on the left side that is http whenever like let's say i i am hitting flipkart.com okay after hitting you can see on the left hand side of my address bar https is coming so what is this https so this https is the protocol for sharing information over the internet so it's long form hypertext transfer transfer protocol okay so this is the simple protocol that 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 that, that the web follows in order to send information and receives the information okay so after that we have tcp ip protocol so again these are the internet protocol of of sharing the information from one device to another devices so these have many layers so you are going to learn this in depth in the more computer network sessions okay so these are also the protocols of like sending and receiving the information over the web over the internet okay third third one is our server so server server is like a machine so let's say google have their own data center so data center data, data centers have a lots of machine and that machine directly refers to the server so each machine we can call it as a server so server have different different ports and server has all our websites worldwide which which whichever we have present right now in the world okay server consist of small small machines and in server all like server consist of whole of the of our websites okay and client is someone let's say i am accessing this laptop right now so whatever i am like typing in my browser and i am in like hitting enter after that i am i am like able to get the able to see the beautiful ui on my web page like as on my web page so that's so let's say i am a client so i am a client this is a client machine my laptop is a client machine this is not a server because the website doesn't present is not present here the website is present on my server okay so these are the basics very basics of the uh, websites and after that we have the domain name system so what this domain name system actually is so let's say domain name system is something like uh, uh we we like as uh, as in india we have aadhar card number for each and every uh, citizen of india so but uh, we can identify each and every candidate by its aadhar id uniquely okay the name might be same let's say we have uh, rajesh and rajesh 
सो वी माइट हैव पीपल विद द सेम नेम राजेश राजेश बट वी बट देयर आधार कार्ड देयर आधार कार्ड नंबर यू आई डी मस्ट बी डिफरेंट सो लाइक वाइज इन वेबसाइट्स सो वेबसाइट्स कैन बी आइडेंटिफाई बाय देयर यूनिक आई पी एड्रेसेज ओके सो दिस आई पी एड्रेसेज आर लाइक द एड्रेस ऑफ अवर हाउसेस ओके सो वी कैन लाइक वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई अवर हाउस बाय अवर लेट से बाय लैंडमार्क नियर बाय अवर हाउस लाइक दैट so this is the ip address so we can identify each and every server by its ip address okay but we but while while entering uh, but, but while entering that address in our browser we like we are not directly entering the ip address so just to make it easy this domain name system was introduced so let's say i i want to hit the flipkart.com okay so this flipkart.com is the domain name but its ip address is this 163.53.78.58 so it is very hard to remember these ip address so that's why this domain name system is introduced so domain name system is a, you can consider it is it like a library which have all the domain name and its current corresponding ip addresses so whenever we are hitting flipkart.com there is one dns lookup tool so that will so that will just convert our domain name to this ip address and then and then 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 it is going to search in the server that are present remotely anywhere in the world for that particular ip address and then that server will send a request like that that server will send a response to our client machine okay so this is the very basic and okay so this is the very simple diagram as you can understand client client send a request on server and server sends some responses back to client so but so see as i explain you so clients what client will do let's say i am accessing this flipkart.com so flipkart.com first this that dns lookup tool will convert my dns name to the ip address then then that particular ip address is going to search like that that ip address is the location of my particular server on which the website which i am looking for is present okay so let's say my ip address is found on let's say a server so a server will like respond back if all the information is correct i am like proper authorized person to access that particular machine that particular server okay then server will send back some responses back to my client so what actually happens in a uh, web browser so i will show you let's say with the help of one example okay so this is the very simple uh, representation of what actually happens so let's say this is my client machine this below one and it is uh, i am with the help of url i am accessing my server okay so server is sending back some html documents okay and that html documents will is going to represent back on my client model so http is acting like a an anchor here okay so let us see with the help of websites how it's actually going to present so let us say let's say i am hitting this flipkart.com so it is going so it 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 will hit this ip address which this uh, 163 wala address okay and after that if i am coming back to this flipkart.com i am able to see the beautiful ui here okay so ui means user user interface okay so whatever i am seeing on the on the home page let's say so you can see on elements the uh, elements item so you can see like you can right click on any of the browser page and just inspect it then you will able to see this all uh, uh, functionalities over here so in element section you can see there are a lot of let's say html tags are present okay so this whole document is html document so what what is happening whenever the server is sending the like responses to the client machine so it will sends the data not it, it will not it is not going to send the whole data like at one time so it will it is going to send the data in small 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 chunks so for your like for your information i am just telling you key let's say the first of all the html file is going to load on our web browser so after that this in html file this uh, engine is going to check whether uh, html tag html tags are having any link tag or not if link tag is present that means we are attaching any external style sheet like to give the css to uh, our uh, like web page okay and also after css it it is going to checking whether it consists of any script tag or not just to check whether any any external javascript file is attached to it 
so if it is attached then it it again it it's going to again send the request to the server and server will like response back with that particular file okay so like this our web web page will actually loads after that okay so in the sources section you, you can see the javascript files but i think this is very like, this is the preventive side that's why you are not able to see here okay so this is all about the websites like how the websites work and all that so in the later video we will cover this topic like how how internet works and what are these data packets in detail so until then thank you so much for watching bye bye